हेलो स्टूडेंट आई एम मयूर गोंडलिया एंड यू आर वाचिंग स्कूल ऑफ फिजिक्स स्टूडेंट टुडे वी विल टेक वन एग्जांपल ऑन फोरियर इंटीग्रल प्रॉब्लम ऑन फोरियर इंटीग्रल द प्रॉब्लम इज Express the function f of x equal to one when modulus of x less than one, and f of x equal to zero when modulus of x greater than one, as a Fourier integral. Hence, evaluate integral zero to infinity sine alpha cos alpha x upon alpha into d alpha. First of all, we will check about the types of function. If it is a one function, then we will use Fourier cosine integral formula. If it is odd function, then we will use Fourier sine integral formula. And if it is neither a one nor odd, then we will use general formula of Fourier integral. Here, modulus of x less than one, that is plus minus x less than one. It means x less than one and minus x less than one. That is x less than one and x greater than minus one. That is x less than one and minus one less than x. And therefore, we can write modulus of x less than one equal to minus one less than x less than one. And on other side, modulus of x greater than one. That is. Plus minus x greater than one. It means plus x greater than one and minus x greater than one. Therefore, we can write x greater than one and minus one greater than x. It means modulus of x greater than one equal to minus one greater than x greater than one. Therefore, we can write our function as f of x equal to one for minus one less than x less than one. And f of x equal to zero for minus one greater than x greater than one. If we draw the curve of the function, then it is found like this. It means function has value one in interval minus one to one, and outside this interval, the function has a value zero. It shows that function is a one because it is symmetric with respect to. Vertical axis. We also check it by this way. The first part of the function is f of x equal to one for minus one less than x less than one. Say equation one. Therefore, f of minus x equal to one for minus one less than minus x less than one, and therefore f of minus x equal to one for one greater than x greater than minus one. And which is equal to one for minus one less than x less than one. Say equation two. Now the second part of the function is f of x equal to zero for minus one greater than x greater than one. Say equation three. Therefore, f of minus x equal to zero for minus one greater than minus x greater than one. And which is equal to zero for one less than x less than minus one. And therefore, we write f of minus x equal to zero for minus one greater than x greater than one. Say equation four. Now, from equation one and two, we found that f of x equal to f of minus x for interval minus one less than x less than one. And also from equation three and four, we found that f of x equal to f of minus x for interval. Minus one greater than x greater than one. Therefore, given function is a one. Hence, we will use Fourier cosine integral formula. That is, f of x equal to this. Substituting the value of given function, we get f of x equal to two upon pi integral zero to infinity into bracket integral zero to one into one into cos alpha x dx. Into cos alpha x d alpha. Here f of x equal to one 
in interval 0 to 1 and for 1 to infinity it will be 0. Now the f of x equal to 2 upon pi integral 0 to infinity into here integration of cos alpha x that is sin alpha x upon alpha therefore we will put here sin alpha x upon alpha with limit 0 to 1 into cos alpha x into d alpha. Substituting the values of limit f of x equal to 2 upon pi integral 0 to infinity into sin alpha minus sin 0 upon alpha into cos alpha x into d alpha. Since sin 0 equal to 0, therefore f of x equal to 2 upon pi integral 0 to infinity into sin alpha into cos alpha x upon alpha into d alpha. This is the Fourier integral of the given function. Now, let us evaluate this term from this integral. If we transform this 2 upon pi at left hand side, then we get integration 0 to infinity sin alpha cos alpha x upon alpha into d alpha equal to pi by 2 into f of x. In region modulus of x less than 1 function f x equal to 1. Therefore, this integral becomes pi by 2 for modulus of x less than 1. In region modulus of x greater than 1 function f x equal to 0. Therefore, this integral becomes 0 for region modulus of x greater than 1. In next video, we will take one more example on Fourier integral. Please write your suggestion in comment box. Like and share this video and subscribe my YouTube channel School of Physics. Thanks.